Removing the right card at just the right time could turn the tide of any commander game. But with Damnation reaching nearly $40, Cyclonic Rift at $25, and Bane of Progress at $14, budget options are a welcome deviation from the norm. Here are five underrated budget removal options for your next commander deck. First, let's start with blue. Ever try to bounce a permanent only to be countered, or worse, have your spell nullified? Never worry about that again with Wipe Away. Wipe Away is two blue and one colorless for an instant that reads split second. As long as this spell is on the stack, players can't cast spells or activated abilities that aren't mana abilities. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Split second makes this spell effectively uncounterable, but also prevents any response outside of a mana ability or unmorphing a creature. This means that most of the time, your spell is going through. On top of that, you can return any kind of permanent, including lands or planeswalkers. You can even bounce your own permanents to save them from removal. The downside is that it doesn't permanently remove a threat, only delaying it until later. But at only a dollar, the flexibility of being able to effectively uncounterably bounce any permanent at instant speed makes it an all-star for any deck running blue, especially under commanders like Baron, Talarian Archmage, Talran Sky Summoner, or Braid's Conjure Adept. Next up, we have Black. Massacre Worm not doing it for you? Check out their counterpart with Massacre Girl. Massacre Girl is two black and three colorless for a 4-4 legendary human assassin with menace. And the effect, when Massacre Girl enters the battlefield, each other creature gets negative one, negative one until the end of turn. Whenever a creature dies this turn, each creature other than Massacre Girl gets a negative one, negative one until the end of turn. The ideal situation to cast Massacre Girl is when you can trigger enough of her negative one, negative one effects to wipe the board. This can be done by setting up a chain of creatures with increasing toughnesses, having a number of low toughness creatures, or by causing creatures to die after she's entered the battlefield. Her biggest downside is the situational nature of her effect. She needs just the right kind of board to set her up. Her upsides though are numerous. She's a decent, evasive attacker attached to a board wipe, can take out indestructible creatures, and legendary, meaning she can be your commander or synergize with legendary matters decks. Did I mention that she's only 50 cents? She fits well in the 99 for legendary commanders like Cut This of the Hidden Hand or Sisse, Weatherlight Captain, or in decks with the number of small creatures like Grismold the Dread Sower, General Kudro, or Sheree, Shizo's Caretaker. Third up, we have Red. Wheel of Fortune is an absolute powerhouse, but at nearly $240, it's out of most people's price range. Winds of Change does a decent impression, but it's still nearly $20. But at $0.25, cents, you can get a solo version that also deals damage to any target at instant speed. Enter Fateful Showdown. Fateful Showdown is too red and too colorless for an instant that reads, Fateful Showdown deals damage to any target equal to the number of cards in your hand. Discard all cards in your hand and then draw that many cards. Fateful Showdown has it all. Instant speed? Check. Draws you a new hand? Check. Fills the graveyard? Check. Deals damage to any target? Check. Searchable by Sunforger? Check. The major downside is its situational nature because it can't deal enough damage or by having a hand that doesn't want to be discarded. It can put in extra work under draw-focused commanders like Riel the Everwise or Niv-Mizzet Perun, or in graveyard-centric decks like Felden of the Third Path or Garna the Bloodflame. Next up, we have green. Ever have a Urza deck go off with a battlefield full of mana rocks? A thing of the past with the 25 cent Manglehorn. Manglehorn is one green and two colorless for a 2-2 beast with the following effects. When Manglehorn enters the battlefield, you may destroy target artifact. Artifacts your opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. Not only does Manglehorn provide low mana artifact removal, it puts the brakes on bigger mana rocks like Gilded Lotus, Thran Dynamo, Dreamstone Hedron, or Hedron Archive. Even late in the game, it is in a total dead draw since it can function as removal. Its focus nature is a downside since it can't deal with enchantments like Reclamation Sage or Thrashing Brontodon, but works well in Enter the Battlefield Effect decks like Rune of the Hidden Realm, Yisan the Wanderer Bard, and Yarok the Desecrated. It can also shine in creature-focused decks like Nakia of the Old Ways or Rurik Thar the Unbowed. Finally, we have White. Although it's the most expensive card mentioned here at nearly 350, 
which puts it in the range of Day of Judgment or Path to Exile, Settle the Wreckage is well worth the price tag. Settle the Wreckage is too white and too colorless for an instant that reads, Exile all attacking creatures target player controls. That player may search their library for that many basic land cards, put those onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle their library. Instant speed mass exile removal for attacking creatures is so powerful that even just the threat alone can be an effective deterrent. You're even able to target yourself, and it's searchable by Sunforger in case you needed more good reasons. Besides the price tag, major downsides include ramping an opponent into basic lands and only affecting a single opponent. Settle the Wreckage works well under combat-focused commanders like Mangara the Diplomat or Winota join our forces. Hope you enjoyed this look at 5 underrated budget removal options for your next commander deck.